a lot of my best ideas actually come to me just after I've had a shower. <laughs> when I get out of the shower to stop my skin from drying up, I have to basically lather myself in cream. Love right? that. In Vaseline. And <laughs> in order for it to dry, I have to sit down on the edge of the, the bath. And usually when I'm sat there waiting to sort of dry like a, like a slug, um, <laughs> all of my good ideas come to me. That's where I had my, my ideas for like Craig David parodies or, you know, my fire in the booth and stuff like that. So I think that is probably an example of having to just be still, you know, not being able to do anything. You know, you could be on a walk, you could be meditating, but sometimes that stillness just helps to just fire off a few sparks. I do look to funny women because for a long time we were just supposed to be pretty and quiet. Women who've gone against the grain to push and have their authentic voice heard when for so long we weren't legally allowed to have a voice. When I see what someone like Michaela Cole has achieved, she and I have very different voices. I will never have the depth. I, my stuff is like, I like fashion and small dogs. <laughs> I'm trying to write more, that's what I want to do. In the long term, I want to write scripts and screenplays and things like that. I feel like it's just practicing that hobby of mine to write and I think poems is, even though I'm like not very good at them, it's a good way of like um, condensing an idea. So I have like an idea of something that I want to talk about and then it's like, okay, well maybe I can just write a few lines um, in this poem format and then it kind of gets the kind of gist of the feeling of what I want to be making something into like a bigger format. I'm a real nerd when it comes to information and video essays have changed my life. There is literally a video essay on everything and the brilliant thing about it is you don't have to read anything. So in like 20 minutes you can learn everything about I learned how to paint your nails. And for me as a writer and as a director, there's so much help on there, like video essays about the work of, I don't know, Fincher from music videos right the way through to the social network. And there's a resource for creativity is an incredible thing. A lot of hobbies start quite young, don't they? I lived in Zimbabwe and um, my grandparents would always come and visit us because they live in, in Derby. And it was always amazing when they came because they would just bring so many presents. I remember the first time they bought this, my first ever video game round, and there it was on screen, and that is when the addiction started. What you're doing when you're a kid and having fun, I feel like you can follow it through to being an adult, and if you find it fun then, you probably still find it fun now, you know?